I'm Ron Poyser and uh, I've been an Isuzu dealer since my first uh, day in the Holden Isuzu uh, business and uh, it's great to be uh, talking with you today regarding 50 uh, fantastic years uh, with Isuzu. Reliability has been the key to Isuzu uh, right from 1979 onwards. Uh, I find it amazing even today to think that the, the KS uh, model behind me was capable of doing uh, upwards towards a million kilometres before any major work. This particular truck behind me has done 550,000 kilometres. Uh, it's a one owner truck and uh, uh, to start it, idle it, drive it on the highway, it just performs uh, almost like a new truck and I find that quite incredible. This was the very first Isuzu we sold and I can remember Neville, a very young uh, dairy farmer at that stage coming in and uh, he was uh, a, a typical farmer who uh, did his fa homework, looked at all the different brands and uh, uh, the, the technical aspect of the truck uh, sold Neville and uh, uh, over the years of his ownership uh, I probably, probably met up with uh, Neville on half a dozen occasions over all those years and uh, be before he could uh, uh, say hello, uh, basically he was uh, talking about his KS21 Isuzu, uh, what a great truck it is. Oh, what would it be, about June 1979? And yeah, and I designed it on my old Austin truck, because the crate carted cattle, carted mullock, and uh, gravel, anything that was on the farm. No, no, I'd have Isuzu, like they've been a terrific, yeah. And I, everywhere you went to the market, they all come up and looked over the truck and, yeah, I don't know how many would have sold from it. Yeah, to be honest, like, yeah, no, I'd highly recommend it. The reputation um, with Isuzu's reliability uh, started from uh, uh, the very earliest days, like, uh, they only ever come in for uh, uh, servicing and uh, we put the odd clutch in, Not, it wasn't a weakness but you know after a few hundred uh, thousand kilometres, uh, uh, depending on the driver, sometimes a clutch was needed but engine wise uh, they just basically uh, went forever. So the, the whole um, ownership experience has always been very very good you never ever heard of people complaining about uh, problems with the trucks you'll adam started in the business uh, when he was still going to high school he would come in and uh, wash the cars and trucks and uh, i must say that uh, at the end of the day he's probably become a better operator than his old man <laughs> Adam Poyser, I'm the dealer principal of Bendigo Isuzu. Yeah, Neville, Neville dropped in one day out of the blue to say he was having a clearance sale and he had the first Isuzu truck we'd ever sold. Um, so that sparked up my interest immediately because I've, I've got a bit of a soft spot for old trucks. Unfortunately, there was another bidder who actually planned to put the truck back to work uh, full time. So um, I ended up paying a quite a lot more than what I thought um, I would have needed to, but it probably, probably speaks to the, to the, uh, the life of these uh, Isuzus. People know that they can keep, keep them going, and, um, and that, was, that was the case with this. Back in 1979, the model lineup was a lot, lot more simplified than it is, than it is now, um, and the spec of the truck is probably not what you would be offered today. And it's unusual to, you know, to hop in a truck and, and have to turn, a, a, uh, turn off the, the diesel pump to, uh, to turn the engine off. Um, most people sort of can't believe how far they've, how far they've come. It's 
So I wish uh, Isuzu another 50 years uh, of the same success they've had in the last 50. Simply, uh, they're the best purchase a uh, truck person can make. Volume uh, says it all. Uh, people do not go back for a second vehicle if they're unsatisfied. And, uh, you know, a quarter of a million trucks uh, plus Australia-wide uh, says it all. A lot of happy customers out there, that's what it says.